Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to show you is how you can apply conditional formatting to your pivot table. So as you can see, here is one, as they say in all the best shows, one I prepared earlier. So if I'm just going to click on any number that I have here, and then if I come up here to home, over here, and then I come over here and I go to conditional formatting. Um, I quite like the color scales one because it gives you an instant kind of color pop. And if you notice here on the color scales, I then have about 12 options. All right. Now, because this is sales, I'm going to go that the kind of the higher the number, basically green is good. So I've clicked on the number, conditional formatting, color scales, and I'm just going to choose the first one here. Now, when you do it this way, Excel only applies it to one cell in your pivot table which means that you need to go to this little one here. And then if I click on it, and if I go to the third option down, which says all cells showing summer sales for store location and month. So let me just go to this one and go to the third one down. And you'll see there it immediately auto populates all the data. So you can see straight away, really our numbers have been kind of increasing steadily for all of our three locations from January to June. Right. And again, um, if you kind of get uneven numbers or outliers, you'll see that, that will appear in your color coding as well. Uh, if you need to remove it, you then come back up here to home. And then you go to conditional formatting. And then you go down to clear rules. And you choose clear rules from this pivot table and that will just remove all the conditional formatting as required so there we go all done that's it hope you find this useful and mind yourself and take care bye